Hi there, my name is Nicole Young, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you the basics of adding a texture overlay in Photoshop. Now, one thing to keep in mind when applying textures is that textures tend to blend best when you have kind of a muted background. In this black and white image, this is a long exposure, so the clouds were kind of blurred and streaked in the background, and the sky is not too bright or too dark. Texture blends well on kind of a gray toned background. The background doesn't need to be gray. It just works best if the background is not too bright or too dark. So I'm going to add my texture by dragging and dropping. So I'm gonna open up my folder and I have my texture right here. By the way, if you'd like to download this texture for free, if you're watching this on YouTube, there's a link in the description. If you're watching this on my blog, go ahead and scroll down and you'll have access to the form to get this free texture. So I'm just gonna drag and drop it over my image and then I just need to resize it. So I'm gonna press and hold the Option or Alt key, and then I'm gonna drag from one of the edges until it snaps. If I needed to resize this so it fit inside of, let's say like a square or an odd shaped file, I would just hold that Shift key, and you can also add the Option key, and that will let you resize the image and change those proportions. And then I'll just press Return or Enter to commit that change. Next, in the Layers panel, I'm going to change the blending mode. So I'll click on that blending dropdown, and as I hover over each of these, you can actually see that preview change. I tend to use Overlay or Soft Light when I'm blending textures, but a lot of the other options are going to look really neat as well. It just depends on the look that you're going for. So I'll select Overlay here, and that's really all there is to it. Just a nice, basic texture blend. But let me go ahead and jump over to another image so I can show you some more techniques that you can use with texture blending on your own images. So I'll go back over to my folder and I'll go ahead and just add that same texture file. I need to rotate this to fit it better. So I'm gonna press and hold my shift key and then I'll just rotate it and that helps keep it level. Now I'll hold the option or alt key, drag it from one side until it snaps. And by the way, if it's not snapping for you, you wanna make sure you go up to view and you wanna make sure that you have snap set. Next, I'll press return or enter to commit that change. Now in the layers panel, I'll change that blending mode and I'll go down to overlay again. Now this blend looks great, but the texture is also affecting the little girl. I really want the texture to pretty much just be in the background of this image. So I'm gonna do some basic masking with a brush tool to remove the texture from the little girl. So first I will add a layer mask. Next I'm going to activate the brush tool by pressing B. I'm going to increase the brush size by using that right bracket key. And I'd also like to change the brush opacity. You can do this either by going up to the opacity slider at the top, or you can use your keyboard to quickly change the brush opacity. So when you have the brush active, if you press any of the number keys, it's going to change it. So by pressing five, that'll change it to 50%. Two will change it to 20%. If you wanted to go back to 100%, press zero. For this image, I'm going to set it at 50%, so I'll press five. I'm also gonna make sure that I'm painting with black, and you'll see that over in the toolbar at the very bottom. You can also toggle black and white quickly by pressing X but I want to use black here because with masking, black is going to hide that layer. So now I'll just go ahead and start brushing. Just making several brush strokes. Oh, another thing I didn't mention is you wanna make sure you have a very soft brush edge. And to check that, just right click over your image and make sure that hardness is set to zero. That'll ensure a really nice smooth transition when you're painting this brush over the image. So now I'll go ahead and do a quick preview, a before and after of that masking job. So I'm gonna go over to the Layers panel, press and hold the Shift key, and then if I click on the mask, it will disable it. So if I toggle it on and off, you can see that masking job before and after. Another thing you may want to do is remove the color from the texture. Maybe you don't want to see the brown color from this specific texture. So I'm gonna go up to the Adjustments panel, and I'm gonna add a black and white adjustment. Now doing that changes the color in the entire image and desaturates everything. So instead what I need to do is clip this black and white layer so it's only affecting the texture layer. 
There are a few different ways you can do this when you are applying adjustment layers. First, if you go down to the Layers panel, you can press and hold the Option or Alt key, and if you hover in between those two layers, the icon is going to change, and if you click, it's going to clip that layer to whichever layer is below it. Another way you can do it is within the Properties panel. So when you have that adjustment layer selected, there's a little icon here that lets you do the exact same thing. Now one last thing you can do with textures is when you apply them the way I did by dragging and dropping, it adds the layer as a smart object. And one thing that's great about smart objects is that you can easily swap them out with different files. So I'm gonna go down to that layer. I'm gonna make sure that I'm clicking off in the blank space in the layer and then right click. Then I'll go up to replace contents. Now I'll choose a different texture and this is from a texture pack in my store, Rustic Textures. I'll double click that texture and it swaps it out and it keeps all of those same settings in place. So it rotated the file, it resized it, and it also kept that overlay blending mode.